Good morning, ma'am. My name is Joshua Niemans, and I am white. Good morning. My name is Jacqueline Fern, and I'm black. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Nick Downs, and I'm blue. Good morning. I'm Mark Feldman, and I'm green. Good morning. I'm Dylan Faber. I'm yellow. Good morning. I'm Jean Luc Cabet, and I'm red. Don't you think I realize what's going on here, miss? Hmm. Who do you think I am, huh? Don't you think I realize that if I was some hard shot reporter from out of town and you guys made a reservation mistake, I'd be the first one to get a room and I'd be upstairs relaxing right now. But I'm not some hot shot reporter from out of town. I'm a small reporter from Rolling Stone magazine that's in town to do an exclusive interview with Michael Jackson that's going to be picked up by every major magazine in the country. Now, I was going to call my article, Michael Jackson is sitting on top of the world. But now, I think I might as well call it, Michael Jackson can sit on top of the world, just as long as he doesn't sit at the top of the Beverly Palm Hotel, because ain't no niggas allowed in there. Hey, man, that place is nice, man. Hey, oh, Beverly Hills, man, that place, man. Oh, that I've, so I've, I've always enjoyed Beverly Hills, bro. Uh, you know what I prefer, though? There's this one place that's, um, the Destiny is. What is it called, the Genj? Verona, bro. That place is Verona. Let's go, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go there right now, man. So, your glove. Tis not mine for mine is on. Why, this may be yours, for this is but one. Ha, <laughs> let me see. Why, tis mine, give it to me. Oh, sweet ornament that decks the thing divine. Sylvia, Sylvia. Madam Sylvia, Madam Sylvia. How now, sir? She is not within hearing, sir. Why, sir, who bade you call her? Your worship, sir, or else I mistook. Well, you still be too forward. <laughs> Yet, I was last chidden for being too slow. But tell me, dost thou know my lady Sylvia? She that your worship loves? How know you that I am in love? Marry, by these special marks, when you laughed to crow like a cock, when you walked to walk like one of the lions, when you fasted, it was presently after dinner, and when you were sadly, it was for want of money. But now, you are metamorphosed with a mistress. And when I look on you, I can hardly think you my master. All these things perceived in me? They are all perceived without you. Without me they cannot. Nay, for without these follies, they shine through thee like a water and a urinal. But not an eye that sees is a physician to comment on your milady. But tell me, dost thou know my lady Sylvia? She that you gaze on so she sits at supper? Hast, hast thou observed that? Even she, I mean. Why, sir, I know her not. Dost thou know her by my gazing on her, yet you knowest her not? She not hard favoured, sir. Not so fair as well favoured. So I know that well enough. What dost thou know? That she not so fair as of you well favoured. You mean that her beauty is exquisite and her favour infinite? The one is painted and the other out of all count. How, how painted and how out of count? Marry, sir, so painted. That no man may account of her beauty. I esteem thou me I accounts of her beauty. You never saw her since she was deformed. How long has she been deformed? Ever since you loved her. I loved her ever since I saw her, and still I see her beauty. If you love her, you cannot see her. Why? Because love is blind. Oh, that you had mine eyes. Your own eyes had the light to see before you chided Sir Proteus for going unguarded. What should I see then? Your own present folly and her passing deformity. For, for he being in love cannot see to garter his hose. For you being in love cannot see to put on your hose. Be like, boy, for then you are in love. For last morning you could not see to wipe my shoes. Yes, sir, I was in love with my bed. I thank ye, ye swing me for my love, which makes me the bolder to chide you for yours. In conclusion, I stand affected to her. I wish you were set, so your affection would cease. Last night she enjoyed me to write some lines to the one she loved. Have you? I have. But they're not lamely writ. No, but to the best I could. Peace, here she comes. Oh, excellent motion. 
exceeding part. Now the interpreter. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm Gunny Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. From now on, you will only speak when spoken to, and the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, Sir, do you maggots understand that? Bullshit! I can't hear you! Sound off like you got a pair! If you ladies leave my island, if you survive recruit training, you'll be a weapon. You'll be a minister of death praying for war. But until that day, you are pukes. You are nothing but the lowest living life forms on earth. You are nothing but unorganized pieces of amphibian shit. I am hard. You will not like me. I am hard, but I am fair. There is no racial bigotry here. I do not look down on niggers, kites, whoops, or even greasers. Do you maggots understand that? Bullshit! I can't hear you! She said I was a prick. Sure. I don't deserve to die. Yeah. yeah. I want to kill him. I, I think he deserves him. to die. Yeah. Definitely going to kill him. Not with you. Get down. Get down. You want to know what that means? That means exactly how it sounds, yo. At the moment, we are witnesses. We are loose ends. Zuko's thinking, hey, yeah, they, they cook good net, but can I trust them? What happens when he decides no? No, no, we can't do this. We can't do this. It's, it's, it's him or us, man. How would you do it? What, what, what do you mean? How would I do it? Specifically, step by step. How would you do it? Alright, say we set up one last deal. This is providing he hasn't decided to waste us before then. You know, every time we bring him a new batch, he always tests the product. So while his head's down, giving it a snort, you know, just pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. So, so three shots. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Three shots, or, or uh, I don't know, two, two? Okay, no, but wait. Is it two or is it three? Uh, two shots would probably work, yeah, I guess. Okay, no, but wait. So two shots. Is it two shots in the chest or two shots in the face? Come on, man. No, I'm just trying to understand how this works. Okay, so we'll put a bit in that for now. But the big guy, Gonzo, he's probably coming at you by now, right? Yeah. So you turn towards him and you just wheel on him and all right so now he's a big guy how many shots does that take three shots i guess yeah three all right so three shots two going gone so two men down now is there anyone else there i mean two goes normally not alone right i mean who else could be there i mean his dealers his posse who's who, who else is there his dealer his posse Alright, so we'll put a pin in that one for now. But now, by now, how many shots have been fired? I mean, you've got to be running low, right? Let me check, man. I don't know. How can you expect us to kill a man when you can't even load the damn gun? Man, that was really depressing. Man, that was deep. Yeah. We need really to chill out. We definitely need to cheer up. You need to cheer up. You know what help us cheer up? Spliff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. That's good. What up, Saul? What the hell, man? What? The buzz lecture did you get in here? Sorry, man. Somebody just let me in. That's messed up, man. Building is filled with oxygen thieves. I'm sorry, man. I'm just not familiar with your protocol. I'll buzz next time. I feel sorry, didn't sack, bro. You know we're always cool. I'm sure. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. Fortunately, I've got this new bud. Fortunately, it's the it's the, no sorry.
with this new bud. Unfortunately, it's a few more bone. But fortunately, it's hands down the dopest shit I've ever smoked. And I'll smoke some pretty dope shit. Better than a blue oyster weed? Dude, seriously, it's like if that blue oyster weed I had and that Afghan Kush I had met and had a baby, and then at the same time, that crazy ass Northern Lights and that red ass espresso shit I had met and had a baby, and somehow those two babies met and screwed, then this would be the shit they'd birth. Smell it. What is it? It smells spectacular. It's called Pineapple Express. My guy read it, told me it's like when the dirt, and the flood like takes the dirt like into the weed, and it's, like, it's pretty scientific, but where it is, I'm the only guy in town that's got it. And only 10 more bones for a quarter. So I can get a quarter? No doubt. It's going to be Grab Moscow. What's with the look? What? Where's the scale? Oh shit, the scale! You know what's weird? Is how like, sometimes your brain just chooses not to keep things in it. Get the scale. Where is this thing? What is this? Ah, cross joint. Never seen one of those? Not surprising. It's like, the apex of the vortex of joint engineering. Where it is, NASA was the first one in the 80s. You can actually smoke this contraption. What you do is you light all three ends at the same time. Then, as the smoke resonates through the main section, it creates a trifecta of smoking power. It's like three times as powerful as a normal joint. You be careful with that thing. Dude, wanna smoke this thing with me? Can't even light it on my own. So, so, what do I have to do? Alright, you take those two lighters, you light the ends, and I'll light the tip. Oh, Dude! 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 How you did? Dude! 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 Dude, let's go to the beach. Let's get you guys to the beach. Dude, let's go. Let's head to the beach, dude. Peace out, dude. Dude. Look at that. You know what that is? That's cool. These damn surfboards in the world are made out of that stuff. Yeah? You got a cool boy? Well, I don't have a board board. Well, you want to make one? No, oh, no. What? I come all the way over here to give you the necklace, and I'm offering to make you a board, and you say, nah, get off your lazy ass. We're making a board. All right. It's going to be the best board you ever had. Now, I drew a pattern as a guy. Do you want a lot of rocker with your board? Or just a little? Uh, uh, I don't know. What you want is something in between. Trust me. I'm the expert of this. Okay. So, here are your shaping tools. The thing is, the board is already inside of there. Your job is to find the board. Reveal it. Alright? Okay. Every calf counts. Why are you smiling? Don't smile. I'm, I'm not smiling. Just excited. This isn't like hacking a piece of ice. It takes patience and finesse. Okay, okay. Can I get the tools, please? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. Here we go. No! If you're gonna do it, do it right. First of all, with the grain. With the grain. You see what I'm doing here? Yeah. You let the tool do the work. It's like riding a wave. You let the wave do the work. You can't fight these waves. You won't fight these big waves. Okay, long strokes, loads of finesse. Find the board within the tree. Nice and easy. Yeah, I got it. See? See that? 
You uh, just yeah, maybe, maybe I could try now. Move with. Could I do it now? No. Oh, sorry, sir. It, it, yeah, I, I got carried away. It, it's your board. Go ahead. My board. Okay. With the grain, I got it. Don't forget to eyeball it every once in a while. Long strokes with the grain. Not too long. Okay. Here we go. You did it. You always say things to be clever, Peggy. To make people feel scared or something. Because you're a weirdy who frosts at the mouth and falls down and mates it. How could you listen to Bob? Thought you were a decent chap to call back to that fat little slug who can't even speak properly. Or should I say, properly? Isn't that how it's pronounced these days? No, you listen to me. You said I could have the choir, didn't you? I thought you were a regular chap to suck up to, to that. And as for meetings and doing things properly, of course you're going to do things properly. And that's why we're going to have no more meetings. And Rolf isn't chief anymore. And anyone who wants to can come join me out there in the woods. And we'll feast and hunt and do anything we want. And Rolf's not going to be chief anymore. If you want to see me chief, put your hands up. See? That's how we'll do it. And I'll be chief forever and ever. Amen. And anyone who wants to can come join me out there in the forest. What's so great about fire anyway? We need sharp sticks like spears to protect ourselves. We need spears, that's what I'm saying. We need a defense force, that's what I'm saying. And we need it now, before it gets dark, before something comes out of those woods. We need it now. We must get weapons. We must get weapons. We don't know what's out there, but are we afraid of it? No, we're not. And we'll corner it, and we'll dance. Except for you. You can't dance. All you can do is shake your blabber. <laughs> Shut up, Maurice! You will dance. I bet you you'll dance. And when we corner that beast and stare it down into the guts like we do when we sing a pig, we'll dance. And it won't be funny anymore. I Yes. I don't think so, God, eh? Yeah, bro, it's just not right, eh? Things are better than anyone else. Can't handle stuff like that and people like that, dude. So the question is, do I have God complex? Which makes me wonder if this lawyer has any kind of idea to the grades one has to receive in college to be accepted to one of the top medical universities in the country, or to the kind of talent someone needs in order to need a surgical team. I have an MD from Harvard. I'm board certified in cardiothoracic medicine and trauma surgery. I have citations from seven different medical boards in New England, and I never, ever took a seat. So I ask you, when someone walks into that church and they fall as their knees and they pray to God that their wife doesn't miscarry. Or that their daughter doesn't lead to death. Or that their mother doesn't suffer acute neural trauma from post-operative shock. Who do you think they're praying to? Now you go ahead and you read your Bible, Dennis. And with any luck, you may even win the annual raffle. But, if you're looking for God, he was in operating room number two on November 17th, and he doesn't like to be second-guessed. You ask me if I have a God complex. Let me tell you something. I am God. Objection, Your Honor! Objection! I also object. I object! I also object. I also object. This is rubbish. Rubbish. Objection! I object! Good 
stretch a year than you go. Eagles go. I got another fire one in the Catholic Church we just in the What are you gonna do if you can't laugh? You gonna call all the time? What are you doing here, man? What am I doing here? Last time I saw you, I was the one going to Hollywood. What the fuck happened? Set me up. 20 years. Now look at you. Such a big shot. This is great. This is great. All my boys stay together. Everyone's great. Everyone's great, Nick. Really. Bridge is dead. Terry's shaking like a leaf. But you can't even keep sober for less than a month. This is your legacy, man. Hey, honey, we're big shots. I want to date Cheetah Rivera, Rita Marina, or Diane Carroll. Because that won't take you back. Think you could uh, hook that up for me? That priest. I'm just here. Of very powerful people are going to be coming after me. Very powerful. The Vinci Code type bullshit. The only people that will be coming after you are the ones that you ripped off. And the only thing that they need is the address that I'll give them. Guys, Guys, who turned out the lights? Guys, I'm really afraid of Guys, I can't do this darkness thing, guys. Like, I'm, I'm, it freaks me out. Me guys. too, Jack. Guys, please, I'm really scared. Oh! So you think darkness is your ally? Why are you immediately adopted? The dark? I was born in it. Molded by it. Home. Where I've learned the truth about despair, as will you. There's a reason why this prison is every man's hell on earth. Hope. Every man who has ventured here over the centuries has looked up to the lights and imagined climbing to freedom. So easy, so simple. And like shipwrecked men turning to seawater from uncontrollable thirst, many have died trying. I learned here that there can be no true despair without hope. So, as I terrorize Gotham, I will feed its people hope to poison their souls. I will let them believe they can survive so that you can watch them clamoring over each other to stay in the sun. You can watch me torture an entire city. And when you have truly understood the depths of your failure, we will fulfill Raoul's destiny. And then, when you have truly understood the depths of your failure, you have my permission to die. Oh, that dude stinks. Oh, it smells like asshole. Oh, babe. Oh. Hello, ladies. How are you? Fantastic. Does your man look like me? No. Can he smell like me? Yes. Should he use Old Spice body wash? I don't know. Do you like the smell of adventure? Do you want a man who smells like he can bake you a gourmet cake in the dream kitchen he built for you with his own two hands? Of course you do. Swan dive into the best night of your life. So ladies, should your man smell like an old spice man? You tell me. But yes, he should. And where can you go when your man smells like an old spice man? Close your eyes and let me show you. Do you feel it? The sand between your two tips. I do. Surprise! You're in a mountain peak while I play you those sweet sha la -las you like to hear. Firework colors turn our world upside down. I hope you like water. Because we're neck deep in water, some Frenchmen trust. You see, ladies, 
Well, your man smells like the fresh state of old spice. You can go anywhere. Unless, of course, you prefer to stay in. Do you? Now, ladies, look at your man. Now, back to me. Now, back at your man. Now, back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using lady scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could. Smell like me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's that in your hand? Back to me. I have it. It's two tickets to those things you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like the fresh scent of Old Spice. I'm on a horse. Yes, I can smell something fishy, eh? Something not quite right, eh? Still good. Yes, it's something, something like a truly smell. Even like some salmon. Like pink salmon, yeah. Did you ever hear the story of the fish king? No. Good. It begins with the king as a boy, having to spend the nights alone in the forest to prove his courage so that he can become king. And while he was standing alone, he was visited by a sacred vision. And out of the fire appears a holy grail, that which symbolizes God's divine grace. And while he was standing there, a voice said to the king, You shall be the keeper of the grail, and so it may heal the hearts of men. But the boy was blinded by a greater vision of power and glory and beauty. And in this state of radical amazement, he didn't feel like a boy but invincible, like a god. So the boy reached out to take the grail, but it vanished, leaving his hand in the fire to be terribly wounded. Now as the boy grew older, his wounds grew deeper until one day life had lost all its reason. He had no faith in any man or himself. He couldn't feel love or be loved. He was sick with experience and he began to die. But one day, a fool wandered into the castle and saw the king sitting alone. Being a, a fool, he was simple-minded. And he asked the king, What ails you, friend? And the king replied, I am thirsty. I need some water to cool my throat. So the fool wandered to the bedside and grabbed the king some water. And as the king began to drink, his wound started to heal. And in his, in his hand appeared that which he sought after his whole life. And he asked the boy, how could you find that which my brightest and bravest could not? And the fool replied, I only knew you were thirsty. Beautiful, isn't it? I think I heard it once at a university lecture. Really, that was sick, really. Hey, really. Yeah. Too sick. So sick, really. Yeah, sick, bro. Oh, sick. Oh, you're sick. Oh, you're sick. Hey, too but, sick. But, but wait, wait, wait. I mean, that idea, you sick, What's that, Skylar? You've read the statistics sheet. Don't just talk about surviving one year, two years, like it's the only thing that matters, but what good is it to survive from too sick to work? To enjoy a meal. To make love. The time I've left, I want, I want to sleep in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 40 or 50 pills every single day, lie around, too tired to get up, lose my hair, so nauseated I can't even move my head. You, leaning up after me. Me, some, some dead man, some artificially alive. Just marking time. And that's how you'd remember me. That's the worst part. So, that is my thought process, Tyler. I'm sorry. I just, I choose not to do it. Come together, right now, over me.